want to be young forever, right? Well, Harvard researchers say they found a cocktail of drugs that can reverse aging in less than a week and may eventually lead to a fountain of youth anti-aging pill. The research, just published in the medical journal Aging, identified six chemical combinations capable of reversing the cellular aging process. The chemical mixtures leading to improved vision, longer lifespan in monkeys and mice. So we still got to do it all on, on humans eventually. Let's bring in News Nation medical contributor, Dr. Dave Montgomery. Um, hey, Dr. Dave, as you know, the fountain of youth um, always seems to be this elusive societal idea, but it always gets people's attention when it's in the headlines. So how high or how low should we set our expectations here on this one? Yeah, no, I, I mean, we all want this, right? Yeah. I mean, we talk about the holy grail all the time. This is truly the holy grail. I think we're a ways off from it, to your point. Um, but what, what scientists have come up with, and this is really impressive stuff, are a number of compounds that have been able to essentially reverse the epigenetic reprogramming, which just means that there's a natural programming of proteins that turn genes on and off um, that we have as we age. And what they've been able to do with these compounds is reverse it back to a more youthful sort of uh, profile. And it has, as it turns out, reversed age-related diseases, including blindness in mice. We haven't done it in humans yet. We haven't seen it in humans yet. But this is really impressive stuff. Yeah, and talk to me about this chemical cocktail and what some of these, you know, medications are or, or drugs. And if I'm correct, some of these are medications used to treat seizures or, or Parkinson's disease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, you know, a number of the compounds that uh, that they used are known. Valproic acid is the one you're talking about. There's another one that is a common anti-rejection medicine in people who have transplants. The rest of them are research compounds. Ones that I use, for example, on the on the lab bench in in, uh, in research. But what they've done was they've put them together and they said, what are what's the right combination to elicit this change? Um, and it's been quite impressive. Well, if it works, I'm going to say bring it on for myself uh, one of these days. Uh, researchers say this will be a pill form, right? Uh, but when it comes to aging, from a doctor's perspective, what is the fountain of youth? What would be something that was deemed successful in your eyes? Yeah, well, so if you ask me, it's uh, adequate exercise, adequate sleep, and yeah. a plant-based diet, but I know that's not what we're talking about. The OG so, you know, stuff, I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it really is. Until we get something like this, right, I think we should be focusing on that. What what they are showing is, uh, is really important, is that this program um, that takes um, our cells, essentially the cellular makeup, which leads to a lot of age-related diseases. You talked about one, which is Parkinson. There are visual issues, there are cardiovascular issues, there are other neurologic issues that happen with this change, this natural change that they're able to uh, shift back to. If this is, if this is going to be successful, what we're going to see is a shift in the way humans live. They're, the things that normally cause death and morbidity in humans is not going to be there anymore, and it's likely to expand our lives or extend our lives quite a bit yeah, and and you bring me to my next point you bring up a, a an excellent point is when you say extend our lifespan and you talk about this shift I mean what are we talking here is this pill gonna help us live to be 120 150 I mean what what are you expecting when you say you know expanding our lifespan yeah I mean you know to the degree that it uh, that the pill is successful in um, stopping the number you know the top I should say the top conditions that cause morbidity and mortality, it can extend it quite a bit, right? I mean, you know, we're not going to be like Yoda walking around, I don't think, anytime <laughs> soon. But, but, but I, I do think that, you know, the things, for example, cardiovascular disease, number one killer across the globe, if we are able to impact things like that and other age-related conditions, you'll see people living well into their hundred, uh, you know, into the, you know, low one teens, one twenties. I think that would be feasible if you could get rid of some wow. of these conditions because the other ones don't, uh, don't yeah. impact us as much. Wow. Well, yeah, that is saying something. But uh, even if it does work, I know that, that your advice would be you still got to eat well, sleep well, move your body. You can't, you know, quit all those other things and then take this this fountain of youth pill and expect it to do wonders. Dr. Dave, thanks so much, as always. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.